welcome to a very sunny and peaceful Suffolk and this morning we're going to show you around this rather beautiful part thatched ancient cottage that we've been staying in down here at Wood Farm Barns holiday complex in Suffolk so let's go in and show you around the cottage. Now the actual gateway into the cottage is behind this wooden fence and gate into this little courtyard which is ideal. These holiday cottages are designed for people staying with dogs and yep it comes with a hot tub and outside shower all fantastically designed under this all-weather canopy with external lighting which means this facility can be used all year round and no matter what the weather the outside shower was really fantastic actually I enjoyed that while staying here in July Courtyards filled with roses, graveled and hard landscaped. There's a barbecue here for guests as well. Absolutely charming under these thatched eaves, nesting sparrows, and you're woken every morning to beautiful bird song. Roses round the gateway, just coming to the end of their flowering season, apart from this one down here that's doing really well. Some of the other features they've put into this cottage is fantastic for dog owners. A little outside dog wash in case you get your furry friends really muddy. Even provided some doggy shampoo and a small shallow bath for smaller dogs. So let's make our way inside and show you the interior of this cottage. Well, you step in through that courtyard, beautiful old Suffolk boarded door into this lovely farmhouse style kitchen. It's even got this farmhouse door on the rear looking out over a small courtyard area. You don't get access to that but it just lets the light throw through. There's a beautiful red fire, I call it an arga but really it's an oil fired boiler and cooker. It's worked really well while we've been here. Really gets very very hot very quickly. Fridge freezer a nice dresser with toaster, lovely farmhouse table in this room with a couple of chairs. Fantastic that this kitchen opens directly onto that courtyard with the hot tub and there's an outside seating area again just covered under you can see there to the side of the hot tub. Marble worktops with butler sink and a handmade pine kitchen with loads of storage. Really well fitted out, some really good ideas here for us as let owners that we're going to copy and use. Let's go through to the rest of the cottage now and show you from the kitchen you come down this corridor along the front of the cottage through the outside bit which is fascinating. Just look at the roof on this. This cottage has got some fantastic beams on it. This is a little quarter circle exterior bit that sticks out and then you're into the main lounge living area again with the beautiful beams. It is quite low this if I, I'm i just six foot and without ducking I'd definitely hit these beams. So not ideal for really tall guests but there's a secondary room. I love these old Suffolk cottages the way they just have removed some of the walls in the old smaller rooms to make these big open spaces. Plenty of radiators in this room, but it's dominated by the most wonderful Inglenook fireplace on the old main chimney breast. And just look at that cast plate at the back of this open log burner. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely sunny views out onto your private parking area. And then we're going to go upstairs, a quite narrow, non-specific design staircase again just built into this little area brings you up into the main bedroom quite uneven these floors you really do know you're in an old cottage in these rooms and here we are in the main bedroom upstairs with a big king-size bed low ceilings again just look at these old floorboards absolutely fascinating not a flat surface in here at all, really uneven, but with a lovely picture window looking west. Gets the sun sets in the evening beautifully through here. And then we're going to make our way through. I'm just going to pop the lights on. 
I was coming off this main bedroom is this secondary smaller room used as a dressing room with a wardrobe there's a futon bed in here it would be suitable for children coming away and staying but this cottage is advertised and let as a sleeps too window overlooks the courtyard and the final bit of the cottage through this very narrow low area onto this balcony and through into let me get the lights on there we go a beautiful bathroom wood panelling slipper bath low level toilet wash basin and small mirror lovely Absolutely beautiful cottage. We've stayed here for three nights in July 2023 and really had a fantastic stay. Peaceful location. It's a complex with about seven or eight holiday barns and cottages on it. But the way it's designed is really inspiring. You've got the private areas, private parking, and you can be as social or as private as you like. What a wonderful place to base a sort getaway in Suffolk. Thanks for watching.